Good morning, it's Saturday, August 6, 2011. It's Cliff Potts. A couple of things on the uh, media watch for you. Uh, Japan is recognizing the 66th anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima. The Chinese are just about in apoplexy over the <clears throat> downgrading of the uh, U.S. credit rating. And um, around the world, people are gloating about what's befalling the United States. Uh, have fun with that, guys. Standards and Poor's uh, set in their uh, announcement on their decision that the reason for downgrading was because of the GOP's reluctance to talk about increased revenues for the United States. And yet, that part of the message is being lost both on the Republicans and the media out there in general. They are trying their best to be bipartisan in sharing the blame for this disaster. Rick Perry wants everybody to pray to God to clean up the mess created by the GOP. Now, why are you asking God to fix your own mess is what I'd like to know. Well, that's it for this Saturday. Sunday, August 7th, 2011, Cliff Potts. Welcome. It's moving day. It's not raining today, and we're out to take care of the last of what's at the apartment. <laughs> this is moving day part one, or is it part two or three? I don't know. Anyway, came to a personal realization today. I got here in Chicago on uh, May 5th of this year. It's now August 7th, and I'm already working. Mind you, I was unemployed from September of last year until August 1st of this year. Most of that time down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I couldn't even get a polite nod from any employers down there and yet according to the state of Texas their employment figures are better than anybody else's in the nation I have to wonder why are they not able to find jobs for the people in Texas now mind you I didn't even change my resume it is what it is and yet here I am in Chicago and I am working and it took less than three months to find a job that has to give you or at least me room to pause if you will and consider what was going on there are a number of events coming up uh, in the DFW area by the way uh, you might want to check them out uh, moveon.org has a uh, rally that they're trying uh, that they're putting together uh, this coming Wednesday to uh, protest the nonsense that has been going on <coughs> in uh, Washington D.C. on a local level. And check that out. That's it for today. Got to get myself pulled together, get some coffee in me, and uh, move. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. It's uh, Monday, August 8th, 2011. Evidently, starting sometime last week, uh, there has been riots in the city of London in an area called Tottingham. Our friend, the race mixer, is basically under siege and uh, hasn't been out since Thursday. 
Uh, at his prompting, I have uh, contacted uh, or gotten into the hashtag in Twitter for the uh, riots, and it looks at least like whatever triggered them, uh, it has become an opportunity for vandalism and theft and uh, looting. I can't say that I particularly condone that because that really does mess up the message. The other thing uh, was interesting is uh, some of the tweets coming out said most of this was organized through Blackberry's uh, messaging system so that many of the looters and rioters actually have the more expensive Blackberry phones as opposed to uh, you know, standard tweeting. Anyway, uh, the issue at hand was that a uh, young man, 29, father of four, was shot and killed by police. However, there is another not exactly clear message that seemed to indicate that it also involved the injuries to a 16-year-old girl. I don't know if that's a uh, smokescreen or if that actually occurred. I did catch that in one of the reports. All I can say at this point is keep the race mixer in your thoughts and contact him and let him know that you uh, know he's out there and under siege. And uh, we'll do our best to watch the story. I will say, uh, as I close out for this morning, that almost nothing has been uh, posted on my Facebook page about this, and I'm the only one bringing it to anybody's attention. But I will also say that as far as Facebook is concerned, I seem to be getting ignored since I aborted, or not even aborted, uh, made the attempt to run for president of the United States. I guess I must have embarrassed everybody. <laughs> Such is life, huh? I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday. It is August the 9th. 2011, once again, the 66th anniversary of the second use of a nuclear weapon on a civilian target on a city. Been uh, trying to keep uh, tabs on what's going on in London. I have a good article that, uh, unfortunately, I haven't read yet about that. Sent to me by the race mixer. There's a couple of interesting things about it. Um, there has been a lot of noise, quite a bit of noise, about the uh, street gangs getting involved in the uh, post-riot environment. Uh, this unfortunately does happen in a situation where the authorities lose control of the city streets. And uh, we saw it when uh, Hurricane Katrina came ashore in New Orleans, and now we're seeing it in uh, London. The difference, of course, was is that uh, what's happening in London is uh, basically a direct response to the austerity measures of the British government for the last few years. And while many people can, you know, shake their finger and wag their tongue, this is a normal outcome when people are pushed to the wall. Is it a right outcome? No, it, it isn't. It is definitely, um, you know, deranged behavior, but it is expected and anticipated why the London authorities and the government of the UK did not anticipate this occurring is beyond me. That's something that uh, the British citizens will have to take up with their own government. I wish all of you in the London area safety and peace soon. It's Wednesday, August 10th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. I made some notes while <clears throat> on lunch today. Some things I wanted to talk about in connection with what's going on in the world. Let's start with the first one. The system works not because it's a good system, and I'm talking about capitalism. 
but that people can make it work. It's not a testament or an endorsement of the current system, but a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of people. People value themselves and others only when in comparison. Why is of greater value only if it is seen as one place greater than X? And when Y is compared to X, we don't value anything in the objective void. Now this specifically deals with what's going on in London. And we could eliminate two-thirds of the crime. We do have the science to show how it's done. It's not political opinion. It's solid science that has been tested and retested for the last 50 years. However, we choose not to because we need to have an objective measurement for the individual and society to define what is good in order to have an idea of the self within society. Well, it kind of gives you an idea of how we get ourselves into these messes. We can fix them. We don't have to pray to God for deliverance, but we tend to refuse to do so for reasons that have to do with how we as human beings are wired. Thank you very much for your time. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. It's Thursday, August 11, 2011. This week's video is going to be released a bit early. I've hit the 12 minute mark already. And as I learned a long time ago, that which is long often gets ignored. Be that as it may. Most of this week I've spent trying to filter through the information coming out of London and the riot situation there. What began as a protest ended in an opportunity for criminals to act out their wildest dark dreams. That is utterly unacceptable. Over the weekend, I will uh, post a chapter from Wealth, Women, and War that directly uh, addresses this type of behavior in a civilized Western nation. I do thank you for your time. As always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.